Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And here I have 20 ton bottle jack. And I have also. Yeah, it says four, but we are going to make it 20. Yeah. It's this simple trick that you should never replicate. This video is just for entertainment and it's going to be also probably clear why you shouldn't do this trick ever. This is really dangerous. But uh, the trick is that uh, here you can open the valve that lets this go down and next to it there is a thing that says Do not adjust. Do not adjust. Don't touch. <laughs> and that's like promise of adventure for us. Okay, and now I'm going to tell what is the problem, what you're going to find out if you fuck around with the pressure relief walls. Every hydraulic system has usually these three components. Uh, there is a pump that pumps from the oil tank and then the line goes from there to the uh, cylinder on the, on the bottle jack. This can be also a motor or whatever and then there can be like uh, all kinds of walls between these like directional walls that control which way this moves or something like that. But then there has to be also the uh, pressure relief wall and I don't remember how to draw one. But the idea is that if that there is like something on front of the cylinder that cannot and will not move and this just keeps pumping then the oil has to go somewhere else than here because this is not going to move. And if it doesn't go anywhere else, then this is going to break, the hose is going to explode or the cylinder is going to explode. And any of those three things is not optimal. So the pressure relief valve this is going to open when the system hits the maximum pressure. Let's say like 500 bars. If this is stuck, it pumps until this is 500 bars and then this opens and the oil goes here. So it does this then. And you can adjust this. Usually it's calibrated by the like manufacturer. And then they put something here on top of the adjustment thing that says don't fuck around with this. So no matter what explodes, you are going to probably get injection injury to your hand or something into your head or just going to die. So don't fuck around with pressure relief adjustment screws. And now we're going to find out what we're going to find out. How much, how much we should fuck around? A lot. Let's go all the way. It's, it goes so much. Yeah. And this screw, it usually pushes spring like tighter. It might be that it's like completely closed. That is the best scenario for this video. Or it might be that the screw, that the pressure, no screw, the spring. spring that the pressure has to open is just now really, really tight. But especially if it's completely closed and we push here, then this is going to explode. Mm -hmm. And also if you just would pump from here, like really hard, and this couldn't come up, then it would also explode. Can you pump that hard with your hands? I'm not sure, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Uh, if you have a long lever, even like any amount of fuck around here is going to make this dangerous because it's like, designed for four tons and this is adjusted for four tons. So when you put this any tighter, then it's not any more designed for the settings that you have. So this is now really dangerous. Mm. And because it's dangerous, I'm not going to try to lift anything with mm. it. We are going to just push it here, add the load with the press, because then we can have this here in the bulletproof bunker and we can be outside. But the, like what's going to happen for this is as, as exactly the same did you push from here or pump from here. Mm. The end result is still the same. I think we are going to go uh, not super slow, but not super fast. And Hanna is going to operate the high speed. Here it goes. Okay, something clearly broke from the jack. I was hoping that it's going to like explode and oil and the parts are going to fly everywhere. But something internal gave up before the cylinder walls or anything like that. Yeah, something, something exploded somewhere. Uh, I don't see any oil, so it might be that it was some internal part. But let's go have a look. Let's see how many tons that was. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. No, 13. 13 tons. Yeah. Not 
not 20, but like... But almost. Almost. Quite a much more. Mm. Yeah, something just inside of this broke. Mm. Let's see, does this work anymore? Mm -mm. Okay, I think the, uh, it wasn't this cylinder. It was this cylinder that failed. Something, something down here. Because this isn't working anymore. I think we have to do what everybody wants. Mm. Let's put the penny toner in. Of course. But before that, I want to tell you about our new secret project. I'm not sure if it's secret, not at least anymore when I'm telling about it. But uh, we are launching a Kickstarter campaign in a couple of weeks. And this is the second Kickstarter that I have ever promoted. Hannah didn't remember it because I wasn't there. <laughs> but Anna wasn't there. But uh, our first, very first Kickstarter campaign that we have promoted was the Kronos cameras, the original ones. Yeah. And uh, the new project, it's also been manufactured in Canada. Mm -hmm. And the, it's not, it's, it's a bit simpler product than this, <laughs> but we are a bit simpler people. Uh, we are going to launch collectible metal dice set. Mm. Uh -huh, now the camera turned on, it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm well known about the fact that I want to own stupid, useless, but really nice and interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's like my style of buying fire trucks and robots. It's, it's like advanced and there has to be something, some place to start. And I think metal dice, they are really nice because we are going to make them from all the different metals like tungsten, titanium, stuff like that. And there are the cubes. They are nice. I, like, I, I have a lot of those cubes at yeah, home. Yep. I have the cubes everywhere. <laughs> but you cannot do anything with them. And there isn't any like reason mm. to show them to your friends. But metal dies, it's like useful. And it's the same as the cube. Mm. Like interesting, like simple, interesting form factor. Mm. And they're going to be CNC machined, of course, because they are out of metal. No, like, casted Chinese sium. Everything is high quality CNC machined. And now we are doing uh, prototypes. I should get the first one here in Finland quite soon. And yeah, I'm not sure if Hanna is excited about. Yeah, but I can understand your excitement, but I'm not that excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have been so, uh, I've been bragging to everybody yeah. that around the. Christmas Eve when we are playing like games, I have the nicest mm, dice for everybody. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And uh, it depends a bit the launch date on how the manufacturing goes. Mm -hmm. They are making them as we speak. So I let you know when they are out. But I'm, I'm hyped up. Yeah, let's continue with the bottle jacks. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, the, uh, I think with this one, I closed completely, but it just made the spring extra, extra tight. But it's not tight enough. It's like running on overpressure, that's sure. But the overpressure is only like three times. Or actually, what the hell, I don't have to guess. I can move it from here. Yeah, that was only 50 tons. So on the larger model, uh, you cannot make it so tight the pressure release valve that the thing would explode. Mm. It was now like 45 ton jack, so only like two point something over pressure. And the previous one did like almost, it did like over three times. So it was probably close to exploding something, but didn't explode. Yeah, I think I'm going to still open the thing that I made tight to put it back to the normal. We can even like try with the press that it's like around 20 tons. Yeah. I think we are not going to film it. It's like quite boring task. Or maybe not. Hey, you can stop here if you don't like to see how I calibrate it. Let's let's do that. Pump it back, back up. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to open this. If I would be any wiser, I would count how much I tighten it. Mm. Maybe around here. Then let's take the press settings, 20 tons here. And now if it stops, then it stops and we are, either we are good or either it's a bit too loose. 
And to be sure, we are outside. Uh, it's 25. It was okay. pretty close. Yeah. So just a little bit more. Hey, do you know what? I had the uh, press on so fast that there was pressure loss oh. due to like movement of oil. That's mm. why it sold so much. Yeah, I think I think you got the I think you got the idea. It's gonna yeah. take forever because it has to be on its place mm. because when things are moving, it not it's not static pressure anymore. Uh, with the lifting jack, you want to calibrate the static pressure because there isn't any like dynamic things going on on typical use. It moves so slowly that there isn't any pressure loss due to like flow. I'm a bit disappointed that mm. they didn't explode, but I think we everybody learned something today. I think so too. Yeah, if you have any other things that you want to see demonstrated with hydraulics, especially accidents and fuck around and finding out, please let us know. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.